I got inspired to do punch needles when I was working from home during the pandemic. I found punch needle on YouTube and I watched someone else do it and I was like, wow, this looks like a very fun, light activity that, that would take my mind off of being stressed. I also had a lot of anxiety during the pandemic and my brain was running a lot, worrying, and I wanted to quiet my brain down and this helped relieve a lot of it. It's a super easy, and fun and very relaxing thing to do that has honestly brought a lot of healing and calm to my life. But it's such a simple process. And at the end, you get this gorgeous art piece that just really speaks for itself. If you're looking for a hobby to de-stress you and bring calm to your life, I have just the creative thing for you. My name is Christina Bing, and I'm gonna show you how to make punch needle rugs. I wanna be clear, this is a disclaimer for this video. I would not call myself a professional by any means. I am an enthusiast. It's a hobby currently healing me from the stresses of the world. So I think more people should maybe join in on this. It's fun, why not? I have this frame that I just got from Michaels. I just stretched this canvas across it. And this tool you can also find anywhere. It's just a manual punch needle tool. The basics that you will need are a punch needle kit. It will contain the manual tool, a little wire so you can get the yarn through the tool, and scissors, and then a frame. You could even use a picture frame all in. I think it would need less than $40 and even less than that if you're only using one color of yarn and go from there. I went ahead and drew a pattern ahead of time. You can also freehand it, but it's easier for me to follow a line and to stay focused when I do it like this. So what you're gonna do is after you string the string, you pull whatever yarn you'd like to use through the, the tool. And like I said, there's no right or wrong way to do this. You just go up and down just like this. And then you'll just switch directions of the needle in and out. I'm just following this pattern that I just drew last night. I like to do it in my back room away from everything in my apartment. It allows me to zone out completely. It gives me some time to clear my brain and it really slows down your mind. It's really nice. I forget I have a job. I forget that I have responsibilities and things. I forget about like everything in my life. So I can just focus on my hands making something beautiful. It's like a very healthy escape, honestly. Like I'm only worried about what I'm doing in this moment and that is a gift. So why not just focus on that instead of the things that are outside of my control? Super simple. Another thing I love about this is that there's no way to like mess it up. And if you do mess up, you can always pull the yarn out and then start over. It's so easy. I like how repetitive it is. You just pop on a little 90s sitcom in the background and just focus on this and then hours go by and you've created something gorge. and then I'll switch out the yarn. We'll do a different green here. See how that looks. I have my yarn organized from warm and cool. I'm a very colorful person, so I love bright colors and multiple colors of yarn. I think that's really important with Punch Needle too, is adding different colors so it feels like a shadow almost. And you can create that with just different colors so it doesn't feel so flat. And then get poking. I love that you can make them big or small. Seeing things that you would normally see in either a larger or smaller scale and like seeing a punch needle version of a food item that you're used to eating, but it now has texture is just, it's just like a mind game. And I love it so much. I love seeing things in a different scale from how they normally are. I started really small. I think I just picked out primary colors and a lot of neutrals. So starting small is always a good idea. And then the insides of our leaves will just be a darker shade of a green. So currently I get my punch needle rug inspo from Pinterest or photography or pretty much anywhere. If I'm buying a bouquet of roses and I'm like, ugh, these would be so beautiful in a 3D kind of punch needle situation, I'll just do that. And then when we're ready to start in a new spot, just cut. Whenever inspiration strikes, I always make sure to Google or go on Pinterest and find an image 
that's kind of like a cartoon version of it so I can freehand draw. But honestly, you can find inspiration anywhere. I am super inspired by food and bright colors, clouds, and obviously I love flowers. So, so a lot of these are a representation of that. Voila. Gorge. Gorgeous. So at this point, I would typically cut it out. You wanna make sure that you leave enough space so that the backing will stick. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect. And then we just get a paintbrush that's easy to clean. Wipe the carpet glue on the back, making sure to cover all of the sides to make sure that it's all nice and sticky. You should probably do this outside. And what will end up happening is then you'll need to use just a spray adhesive for your backing. And this will dry and get really tacky like this. Once the glue on the back is ready to go, you would just peel these back and then you'll see the edges will just be the raw edge like that. And then fold it back like an envelope. Sometimes I like to place like a book on top of this. And then once it sits out for a few days, none of the yarns will be able to move. And then you know you're in a good place to move on to the next step. I would then put a backing on it so that way it could hang up on the wall. You can use any backing, but I like using felt. I think it's just so soft and beautiful and nice on surfaces because this is kind of rough. It's an easy, cheap material to work with and it sticks really well. But yeah, good to go and ready to hang on the wall. It's a lot of trial and error, I will say that, but punch needle for me has been a form of therapy and a way for me to release stress. It allows me less screen time, more focusing on being more present and it's allowed me to show a creative side of me that I honestly didn't even know existed. And I can't even believe all of the things my partner and I were able to make through this process. I feel so accomplished when I do that last thread and cut it and then I'm like, I finished it, right? And it's such a huge accomplishment and you see such a reward when it's done. Like when I put these all up, I was like, wow, look at what we made in the last like two years. Like this is incredible. It's just a great creative process and a beautiful activity that you can do with yourself or with your friends and very healing. I would love to see your punch needles. So I hope you do this and then tag me on Instagram. I would love to see all of the work you guys have done and your healing process through this. Like this video and subscribe to HGTV for more makers features like this.